Hello and welcome to your next lesson in Higher Computing Science here at Weedmill High School. We're continuing with the Computer Systems Unit and looking at data representation and something called Two's Complement. Your starter. What is the following binary number in denary? You might want to pause this video, go and get a pen and paper to work that out quickly. Just in case you didn't, I'm not giving you the answer quite yet, but if you're unsure how to convert numbers from binary to denary or vice versa, please have a quick refresher by looking at our National 5 YouTube video lesson, N3405 Data Representation Lesson 1, Binary and Denary Conversion. Now there's the link to the YouTube video, but I will uh, put that into the notification and show my homework as well. So, what is two's complement? It is a method that you're going to learn for representing negative integers. And later on, you're actually going to learn that it's what is used to represent the exponent in floating point representation. Now, very, very important that the number of bits is stated when you talk about two's complement. Now, this will be included in the exam question. And the amount of storage space set aside to store your twos complement number, that needs to be known because it's the first part of writing out your answer to any question. Now, the 2018 past paper had as the first question and one mark, convert the number minus 120 into 8-bit twos complement. The 2019 past paper said for question number one and one mark, convert the following 8-bit twos complement number into denary. So this is what we're going to show you what to do now. There are four steps when you convert from denary to binary. So we're going to look at that first. Step one, you will forget about the fact it's a negative and you're just going to convert the positive version of the number just into binary, just like uh, normal. You're then going to flip the numbers and then you're going to add one and that will get you the actual answer to the problem. However, we've got a step four where we're going to double check that answer. Now, first, a quick reminder on how to add. OK, first of all, just a, a quick recap on how to add two numbers together. Now, you did learn this in primary school, uh, so I'm not worried about this part. Partly they're called chimney sums. So 6 plus 7 is 13. 105 plus 7. So the 5 plus the 7 is 12. Now you put down the 2 and you carry the 1. Then the 1 plus the 0 is 1. Nothing plus 1 is 1. So the answer is 112. 196 plus 8. We add the 8 to the 6 and we get 14. You carry the 1, put down the 4. The 1 plus the 9 is 10. You carry the 1, put down the 0, and the 1 plus 1 is 2. Uh, don't, I'm not intending to insult your intelligence. It's just this carrying the 1 is very, very important. I learned this decades ago at primary school, and it's the way I do it, so I thought you better understand what I'm up to. Now, when we're looking at adding together binary numbers, there are actually only four ways to add together two binary numbers. You can have 0 plus 0, 0 plus 1, 1 plus 0, or 1 plus 1. Now, quite simply, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, but 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. Okay, now you guys should be able to remind yourselves that 1, 0 is the number 2 in denary. So binary 1 plus binary 1 is binary 1, 0. Still adding up in binary, just to make it slightly more complex, if we have got the number 101 and we want to add 1 to it, here we have 1 plus 1 and here we're going to carry the 1, put down our 0, then the 1 plus the 0 is 1, nothing plus 1 is 1. So 101 plus 1 in binary is 110 in binary. Just to make it a little bit more interesting, if we are trying to add together the binary numbers 1111 with binary number 1, as you know, 1 plus 1 is 10, one put down the 0 and carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 10, one put down the 0 and carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 10, one put down the 0 and carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 is 10. Okay, so that's how you would add up 
numbers in binary. Okay, now we're going to move on to two's complements number. And the first example we're going to do is minus 77. Now any question will say to you uh, how many bits your answer has to be in. So this example I'm going to give you is an 8-bit two's complement number for minus 77. The 8-bit part is important and that is how many placeholders that you will have in your answer. So you know to put down one on the wrong side of the page, double them up until, and this is the important part, you've got 8. Okay, it's an 8-bit number, so we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, now step 1 is the positive binary number. Okay, so we want to get 77 as a binary number. Now, that means we don't need any 128s, okay, because it doesn't fit into 77, but we do need a 64. So I'll just do my wee sum at the side. 77 take away 64 is 13. So we can't fit 32 in, so we don't need a 32. We can't fit 16 in, don't need one of those. Uh, we're going to be able to use an 8. Uh, 8 away from there it leaves us with 5. Now you should be able to realise that 5, we'll need a 4 and we'll need a 1, but we don't need any 2s. Now there is your binary number for 77. That's step 1. Step 2 is you're going to flip the numbers. Now that just means if you've got a 0, you put a 1. If you've got 1, you put a 0. And literally do that the whole way along the number. So you flip to the numbers. Okay. Now step three, you're going to add one. And this is why we did some little practice sums earlier. Okay. Now the two numbers that you're adding together are these flipped numbers from step two, and you're adding a one. So one plus zero is one. Uh, nothing plus one is one. Nothing plus zero is zero, etc. Okay, so you're just adding those numbers up. Effectively, that would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 in this row here. Okay, but they're left blank, and we'll add them up. Now, this is actually your answer. This number here, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, is minus 77 in 2's complement. However, we need to do a step four to double check. And this double check is actually how you convert a binary twos complement number back into denary. The eight bit part was important. The eight, this bit here, the leftmost one is known as the most significant bit. And that is the one that becomes minus 128. Okay. So we've got one under here, so that's minus 128. And then you add on anything else, you've got a one underneath. So we've got to add on 32, got to add on 16, got to add on 2, and got to add on 1. Now I don't think you guys can see my calculator, but minus 128 plus 32 plus 16, plus 2, plus 1, equals minus 77. So I have double checked and I know that that answer is correct. Okay, I'm going to do another example. We'll try minus 104, just to let you see the whole steps again. Again, it's going to be an 8-bit twos complement number. Start on the wrong side of the page, double up, and we're going to use 8 of these because it's an 8-bit number. So there are 8 placeholders. So step 1, positive binary. So what we have to do now is we need to make up uh, the binary number for 104. So we don't need uh, 128 but we do need a 64. So 64 away from uh, 104 is 40. Okay, so yes, we can fit a 32 in there. And then 32 away from 40 is 8, so we can't fit 16. There's a 8, so we don't need a 4, we don't need a 2, and we don't need a 1. Step 2, flip. Okay, 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0, etc. Step 3, 
we have to add one. Now this is why I really tried not to insult your intelligence earlier. So the two numbers we're adding together are the flipped, is the flipped number, 1001011 zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 plus 1. So 1 plus 1 in binary is 10. One, 1 plus 1 in binary is 10. One, 1 plus 1 in binary is 10. One, 1 plus 0 is 1. Nothing plus 1 is 1. Nothing plus nothing, 0, sorry, etc. Okay, and there is your answer worth one mark in the exam. But let's double check. Step four, double check. It is an eight bits twos complement number. So we go all the way to the most significant bit at the end. We do have a one under there. So that's minus 128. And we have to add on anything that's got a one under it. So we've got 16 and we've got an eight and that's all. Again, not sure you can actually see my calculator, but minus 128 plus 16 plus 8 equals minus 104, which is the number that we were trying to achieve. Okay, now let's have a look at how this has come up in past paper questions. In the 2018 paper, there was a question, uh, it was question number one and it was worth one mark and it was convert minus 120 to 8 bit twos complement. In 2019, it was also question one and it was also worth one mark and it said convert the 8 bit twos complement number 10011010 to denary. Okay, so we'll look at these in turn. So the first one is converting the number minus 120. Now it said very clearly it's an 8 bit, so again we'll start on the wrong side of the page, double it up until we have 8. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so first of all we do step one, which is we come up with the positive binary number. Okay, so we can't fit 120 into 128, so that's our zero. The first number we have is 64. So 128, take away 64, is 56. So we can get a 32 in there. So we'll take a 32, and we'll take that away, and we're left with 24. And yes, we can fit the 16 into 24. When we take that away, we're left with 8. So we need the 8, and therefore we don't need the rest. 4, 0, 0. Okay, then we move on to step 2, where we flip. So 0 becomes 1, 1 becomes 0, etc. All the way across. Step 3, we have to add 1. So we're adding on 1. Now we're adding on 1 to the flipped numbers, 1, 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, 1, 1. So 1 plus 1 is 1, 0 in binary. So put down the 0 and carry the 1. 1 plus 1 in binary is 1, 0. So put down the 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. Put down the 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Nothing plus 0 is 0. Nothing plus 0 is 0. Nothing plus 0 is 0. Nothing plus 1 is 1. And that would be our answer. We'll hopefully get our mark. Okay, but we're going to do our step four, which is our double check, just to make sure we didn't make a silly mistake. So we've got a one under 120. Now this is the most significant bit. It's the one on the left. So that's minus 128. And then we look for anything else that's got one under it and add that to it. So we've got the eight. Okay, so I don't think I need my calculator to say that to see that minus 128 plus 8 is minus 120. So we've managed to get that one right. Okay, now we'll have a look at uh, the 2019 question. And this is where you're converting a twos complement number, binary number, back into denary. And that's basically just the double check step. So again, it says in the question it's 8 bits. So 1, 2, Four, double it up all the way across the page until you have 
8 placeholders, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we put our number in, which is 10011010. And all we're doing this time is the step four, double check. That's all we have to do. So we go to the most significant bit and we make that minus 128. Then we look for any other ones. So we've got to add on a 16. We've got to add on an 8, we've got to add on a 2, reach for the calculator. It's always good to use the calculator and not rely on mental arithmetic. So 120, minus 128 plus 16 plus 8 plus 2 equals, and the answer should be minus 102. And hopefully that is the correct answer for the SQA. Sorry, it's a bit squished at the end. Okay, hope that was clear and that should get you your marks in the exam. Now, I hope that made sense. Now, the another thing that you need to know is the range of numbers that can be represented with two's complement. And that depends entirely, again, on the number of bits used to store the number. Now, be aware that two's complement is a way of representing both negative and positive numbers in a computer system. And the way to tell at a glance if a two's complement number is positive or negative is to look at the most significant bit. That's the MSB. And the most significant bit is the first digit, the one on the left. If that is a one, then the number is negative. If it is a zero, then the number is positive. Now, I've got a couple of 8-bit 2's complement numbers here. We're going to prefer, perform step 4, double check on them. The first number I've given you is 1000000000. And if you perform step 4, double check, you've got the 1 under the 128, so you make that minus 128, and then you don't have any 1's underneath the other number, so you're just adding on zeros for all the rest. When you add those up together, you get minus 128, and that is the smallest 8-bit negative number that can exist. And I'm telling you now that the number 0111111 is, well, if you do the same thing, now you don't have a 1 under the 128 this time, so there's just 0 goes in there, but you've got 1 under all the other digits, so you're going to add to that 0, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2 and 1. Adding all that up together, you get 127, and that is the biggest 8-bit positive number that you can ever have. Therefore, the range of numbers that can be represented by 8-bit 2's complement is from minus 128 to 127. Now, you will be expected to work it out for maybe a 10-bit number or a 6-bit number, what the range would be. OK, so finally, there's a task attached to Show My Homework that I now want you to complete. A series of questions using 2's complement, uh, and it's called CS Task Sheet 1 Data Representation 2's Complement. And if you could please submit that to show my homework, please. Thank you.